Welcome to yet another amazing class. Today our learning targets are I can complete my spelling assessment. I can read and write two, two syllable words with the R and the S spellings. I can plan a writing piece about grapes. I can plan a writing piece about grapes. So today is our spelling test. During a spelling test, I will read a word aloud, use it in a sentence, and then read the word again. Let's review our spelling words. We have sounded, we have packed, we have tripped, we have lifted, we have waved, we have pointed, we have brined, and we have our tricky word, which is have. Now, this the sound, this and this ed sound these words here are made up of the ed sound it's made up of the word the ed sound like you could hear sounded you could hear packed you could hear tripped you could hear lifted you could hear waved you could hear pointed ed you could hear grind now all this all this words have the ed maker they have the words the ed maker and our tricky word have 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 is our tricky word for today now open your worksheet 20.1 you will see spelling tests boldly written i want you to write one two three four five six seven eight i want you to write this eight words on your worksheet 20 point one you're going to write sounded parked tripped lifted waved pointed grind and have which is our tricky word open your worksheet 20.1 to do the spelling test now we have the s sound and the r sound remember we treated the sounds in the beginning of our grade one unit four readers and worksheet which teacher this in uh, grade one unit four so we talked about the r sound and we talked about the r sound and under the s sound we have ha 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 we have fern 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 just as the green fern zoo now under the r sound we have car and farm just like a farm a normal farm and we have car 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 and farm car and farm these are words under the r sound now i'm going to give you two index card which is having the r sound and the r sound you will write the r on one card and the R on the other, I will say words that either have the R or S sound in them. You will hold up the cards that matches the sound. Now we have words like farm, farm, farm. What sound is it under? It's under the R sound. We have vern, vern. Vern is spelled V E R N. What sound is it? It's under the er sound. Under the er sound. Now open your worksheet 20.2. 20.2. You're going to see words that have the er sound and the r sound. We have words like garlic, we have dinner, we have cooler, we have hammer. We have jumper and we have hornet. 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 So these words you're going to show, you're going to identify the words with the pictures. Identify the words with the pictures. So anyone that fits the picture, any word that fits the picture, write it on the lines. Write it on the lines. That's for 20.2. Now these are the words we have. 
garlic dinner cooler hammer jumper and hornet so you're going to do write those words on each picture that fits the particular words now let's spell these words garlic is spelled g a r l i c it's a two syllable word these words here are two syllable words garlic garlic dinner dinner cooler cooler hama hama jumper jumper hornet hornet so we have garlic we have dinner dinner is spelled d-i-n-n-e-r d-i-n-n-e-r we have cooler cooler is spelled c-o-o-l-e-r c-o-o-l-e-r we have hammer hammer is spelled h-a-m-m-e-r h-a-m-m-e-r we have jumper and jumper is spelled j-u-m-p-e-r j-u-m-p-e-r we have hornet hornet is spelled h-o-r-n-e-t h-o-r-n-e-t now we are going to be working on a new word writing project yes we are going to be writing when we write we go through different steps and these steps are called the writing process the topic is descriptive writing planning this process the process of writing planning all of them they are called the writing process these are processes you need to follow before you start writing yes then we have the plan you have to have a plan you should have a plan before you start writing plan on what you want to write think of what you want to write before you start writing you can be writing about grapes you can be writing about your teacher you can write about your school you can write about anything so before you write you first of all you plan then you draft out what you want to write about draft out drafting is where you write down what you've already planned on writing you write them out then you now read what you've written you now remove the ones the process of removing those ones you don't want is called editing process of removing what you don't want to be in what you've written is called editing edit then you now publish where everybody is going to read what you've written publish is when everybody has is already is able to buy what or see what you've written now this chart shows what good writers do when they write authors of your favorite books just as the green fan zoos the green fan zoo books like your green fan zoos your grade one unit four readers it's written by authors first of all they planned they drafted they edited and they published the book so authors of your favorite books use these steps to help create their stories to help create their stories so they follow these steps they follow the planning step they follow the drafting step which is the process of writing what you've already planned they follow the editing step and they follow the publishing step whereby your people are able to gain access or people are able to read what you have written now today we'll be working on the first step of writing process before you begin writing you have to think about what you will write about that's the process of planning you think about what you're writing about we will brainstorm ideas this is called planning ideas you 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 get yeah ideas you get towards writing that's when you plan on what to write when you plan on what to write then we'll be writing a description to plan the description we have to think about how somehow or someone appeals to the five senses how you can appeal to the five senses now i have a grip for each of you we'll use our five senses chart to help us describe the grape number one you can see the grape with your eyes yes you can see the color of the grape you can see the color of the grape in our next lesson we will draft a description of the grape 
as a class, drafting is the second step in the writing process. It's the second step in the writing process. Now, this is how you plan. You see the grip with your eyes. You can hear, you cannot hear the grip, but you can test the grip. You can feel the grip. You can smell the grip. So this is, you're going to use your five senses to first of all plan on how you're going to write about grapes. You just say, this is a grape. For example, this is a grape. I can see it. I can taste it. I can touch it. I can smell it. I can see it and the color of the grape is purple. I cannot hear it because it's not, it's, it's, it cannot speak. Then I can test it and it's, you could see, you, the process of testing it will determine if it's sour or sweet. You can touch it, you can feel it, then you can smell it. Remember, we talked about adjective and see is an adjective, hear is an adjective, test is an adjective, touch is an adjective and smell. Now, what did we say adjectives are? We said adjectives are words, they describe nouns. Adjective is used in place of a noun. It's used to describe a noun. So in our next lesson, we, have, we will draft a description of the grape as a class. Drafting is the second step in the writing process. Thank you for having an amazing time with me. I remain your teacher, Miss Sharon. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye.